under shot experiments. I'm experimenting with this circuit, actually just half of it. Um, and uh, the, the load, the load I'm wiring in series with the coil. This is um, figure 513 from the, uh, the uh, chapter 5 of um, Barry Hilton's uh, book. And um, this circuit's interesting because uh, the output of this uh, transformer uh, winds its way through as many inductances as possible, including the solenoid, making um, this side have a large inductance and using the rules of uh, transformers this tank circuit therefore sees a large inductance um, okay and um, decided to take the capacitor out of here to to experiment with this as an air coil and um, here's uh, here's what I can make this do um, so this meter will show current the scope will show the waveform to the tank circuit and we have a relay that I'm pushing up against a horseshoe magnet. Um, the coil is oriented this way so um, the two poles here will augment the, uh, the vibration that occurs if I move this, move this to the appropriate spot. The bar serves, serves as sort of uh, a it weakens the magnetic field slightly. If I took the bar off, I could make this work, uh, but slightly farther away. Um, here we go. Um, it's uh, I'm still running in a powered mode of, of six volt supply. running. Here's the uh, load, uh, neon. This is the amp draw from that 6-volt battery. And, and the battery is just essentially pulsing this relay and then um, when the uh, clapper disengages, uh, the back EMF from the coil uh, will work its way around this circuit. So this is a nice low current because the 6 volt supply is really just seeing the relay as the only load. Now coming into the um, tank circuit, we see a dampened oscillation at each pulse. Um, this is uh, 1 volts per division and uh, 50 microseconds per division. So each pulse has a swath of ringing. Now um, coming into the uh, load, we see a very high um, pulse. This is uh, channel B is set to 100 volts per division. So these are uh, spikes that go up like 300 volts.